I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Hey my friends, it is Erica. Welcome back to another vlog. Today for me is Tuesday and it is a rainy spring-like day actually. It feels really good outside. It's like six, it's supposed to be like 66. So I'm kind of like debating whether or not I want to open my windows, but it's still just a little bit too cold. I tried earlier and it was just too cold, but hopefully maybe by afternoon, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, welcome back. So today is a holiday for Jackson from school. So He's home. I got my nephew here today. We're watching him. So unfortunately it's too wet and muddy for them to go outside. So we're stuck inside today. I'm just going to be in my comfy clothes today. I got my pajama pants on. I want to get a few things done around here. I, this is like the only day this week that I don't have stuff going on that I have to leave. So i um, just going to be home doing, I need to catch up on laundry. We've had a nice long four day weekend. So today's my day to kind of like get all the laundry done, catch up on the things because Jackson will go back to school tomorrow. Yes, he will. Um, but he's only got a three-day week, so that'll be nice. It'll be the weekend before we know it. But um, the, I, I can't make my bed yet because clearly it is being used right now. So, <laughs> And they're so snuggly. I can't, you know the drill. I can't make them wake up to make my bed. But at some point when I catch a glimpse in here and there's nobody in my bed, then I'll come in and make it. But um, anyway, I've been making laundry, making laundry, doing laundry, making lunch. Um, yeah, trying to, I'm on load number two. It is 1221, so it's just going to be a regular day in my life today. I'm just going to be doing some things around the house. Like usual, in most of my vlogs, if you have been around, you know that I like to have either a recipe or just some kind of cooking, kind of like a cook and clean with me in every, at the end of every video because, you know, I make dinner every night. So I'll be making a Tex-Mex chopped chicken salad for dinner. So why not share it with you guys? And of course, you know, a little cleaning motivation because it's just daily homemaking life and I feel like a lot of you guys that watch it are in the same situation as me. We're homemakers. We're um, you know, wives, moms, whatever. We just have all these things we need to get done. And so when you sort of like see other people doing it and you can, can relate, it makes you feel not so alone or it makes you feel like she's doing it. I want to do it. You know, you know what I mean? Hopefully it gives you the motivation. That's why I do what I do. That's why I continue to do the videos that I do, the cleaning and the cooking and the just average, because most days are just like that. You know, most days are just every day everyday chores and and it's kind of mundane it's the same thing but you know there's so much joy in taking care of my family taking care of my home and I hope that that shows through my videos and that you can also feel joy and satisfaction and you know just purpose and fulfillment in taking care of your family so I don't know where that came from, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. So maybe you needed to hear that. <laughs> so there's just not any big plans today. Just an average everyday day in my life. You know, I got my animals everywhere. I got kids. I got, you know, chores, all the things, all the things. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally Like it used to be
some lights on it is getting dark this dark house is dark it is five almost six o'clock I was visiting with my sister-in-law she came to pick up my nephew and we visited for like a couple hours it's her birthday today which is 2 22 22 so I think that's so cool and she's 42 and it's a Tuesday so that's pretty cool and it's also my half birthday because my we're halfway my birthday is August 22nd oh my goodness the barking Marion is running to Home Depot which is basically a daily thing for him but um he's gonna go pick up something for the basement but we're super close to moving him down there so that's exciting if you saw um you would have already seen before this one that we bought the furniture which is coming soon and so we're trying he's trying to get things situated and ready i look really orange right now this lighting and um my orange shirt <laughs> trying to find the best lighting but um, I'm gonna make dinner, starving. I'm gonna make Tex-Mex chicken, chopped chicken salad. I'll link it down below. It's just a Pinterest recipe, but really, I'm not really even gonna follow it. I read over it. It's just super easy, kind of just make a salad and mix it all together, but it's, I don't know how they cook the chicken. I'm gonna check, but I'm just gonna use some olive oil and I just got some thin sliced chicken breast that I defrosted and I'm gonna put, probably sprinkle a little bit of taco seasoning on them Oh, my battery is flashing. Um, you use taco seasoning and you mix it with ranch dressing and that makes your like dressing, which is what made me want to do it. But I'm going to take some of this and put it on the chicken with some olive oil. Super easy. Chop that up. And then I'm going to chop all my veggies, mix them together and put some of that dressing on top. Should be delicious. You know, I love my Mexican food, but I will link the recipe down below for the one that, you know, that I saw in case you need a recipe to follow. Also, I need to turn this off because this is like smells so sweet. It is making me want sugar. It's making me like want to bake something, seriously. Usually when I like melt something or light a candle, it just makes me, you know, it smells sweet, but it doesn't, it makes, it satisfies my craving, but like that's just making me want something sweet. So I had to turn that off, but I am just heating up some olive oil. I'm gonna cook my chicken. I'm also gonna make some pasta for Jackson with the chicken. You can put it over his veggie pasta, which he loves.
So good, so good. I, I've made, you know, like taco salad all the time. I've made it many, many times, but I don't usually put cilantro and lime juice and like green onion in it. And then the, I usually do ranch dressing and salsa, which is so good, but the taco seasoning and ranch was something I hadn't tried. That was so good. That was the most delicious salad, but you know I love Mexican flavors. So, <coughs> so, so good. I could eat that every day. Like. I could eat that every day. It's a lot of work. Salads are a lot of work because you got to like wash and chop everything and then cook the chicken and warm up the corn and the beans. And it was a lot of work, but oh my gosh, that was so good. So dinner was amazing. I went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen. I do have a few dishes in the sink. Just keeping it real. Loaded the dishwasher. They didn't fit and I'm not washing them tonight. So they'll be washed tomorrow. But um, I think in a little while I might try another one of my little keto desserts, the little microwave, like... They're only like that big. They're not that big. And then I put that sugar-free Cool Whip on top. So good. I think I'm gonna have that in a little while. But um, I need to keep the laundry going. My nephew's gone. I think I told you that. My nephew's gone. Jackson's working on um, some homework actually that he had to get ready done for tomorrow. And it is supposed to rain all night long. It's supposed to rain all week long actually. Just one of those weeks. If it was colder, it would be snowing all week, which would be super fun. But I love the rain too, so I'll take it. But Anyway, I think I need to keep the laundry going, which is not what I want to do, but I don't want it to sit in there. So I got to fold one load and then switch out one load. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing. All right, so I thought I'd do it a little different. I've wa I've done, um, I mean, I've watched a lot of like laundro chat videos and I don't usually do them because I, um, as soon as I pull my laundry out, I put, I fold it and put it away. So I don't like have a ton to sit down and fold and chat. But 
while I'm getting this one out, I thought it would be fun to do a little laundry chat, an impromptu laundry chat. And I thought we could talk about some of my favorite YouTube, my current favorite YouTubers. I've done videos before where I listed like some of my favorite at the time. And basically I, lo I still watch all of those. I love them. But um, I thought I'd add a few extra, you know, we're always looking for like channels that we might love. Channels maybe, some are like mine, some are totally different than mine. So I thought while I did this, we'll talk about that. Okay, so I have my phone here so I can like um, refer to them. But one that comes, well, you guys know I love Marina, Fearfully Created. She's a, she's a current favorite. I watch every video. Um, I've always watched Kristen Casper for vlogs. She does great vlogs. Then another f sweet friend, Tiffany, her channel's called Our Small Town Life. They um, just bought a double wide and put it on some land and they're about to have like a one acre homestead, she calls it. They have four kids, she's super sweet. I love her, her channel. And then of course, check out my niece's channel if you um, haven't already. Her name is Katie, and her channel is called Life with the Love Days. She's got three kids. They live up north in the Northeast, and um, she does a lot of like grocery hauls and you know cooking, cleaning, motherhood, lifestyle things like that. So one channel that I just discovered like this past weekend um, is called I think she calls it Doherty Dozen. Doherty Dozen. Their last name is Doherty, but it's not spelled like that. But they have ten kids and. I think six of them are adopted and four are biological, but I just love to watch her channel because she has like, she mostly does shorts. She's on TikTok a lot, but she um, has a few vlogs that I watched and they're just fascinating because how she runs a house with 10 kids. Like that woman has energy, like insane energy, insane. So another one I currently love and don't ever miss a video is Dean. Um, his channel is called One Bike One World and he is this big burly guy and he was biking around the world and he stumbled upon this little kitten a couple years ago and he just decided he couldn't leave her there so he scooped her up and took her with him and now they travel, they bike around the world. He has a little basket in the front of his bike. I love his videos, like I just love him. He's, it's so heartwarming so if you like animals you'll love that channel. Check him out. They're always like camping. They just bike and then find a place to camp or or a hotel or something and they're he's just I just love his channel so there's one channel called dumpster diving mama of two she's this <laughs> very high energy um, woman and she goes and she dumpster dives at night and goes to all these you know different stores and she gets all kinds of stuff and she donates almost all, everything she gets she donates to like women's shelters and stuff so I love watching her channel. Um, another friend is Midwest Mama. She's got great cleaning videos. Um, she has adorable little girls. She has a really fun channel. Um, Hathaway all the way. Ashley Hathaway. She's such a sweet mama. Um, she has a little girl. One little girl just turned one. She has the most beautiful, sweet voice. She's just such a even-tempered, like calm. <laughs> She's, she's good when you're stressed out. Watch Ashley, Ashley Hathaway. Also, I recently came across this YouTuber called Just Jazzy, and she lives in Brooklyn, I believe, in, um, in an apartment building. She's got, she's a single mom. She's got, I think, four kids, three girls and a little boy, and she's a hoot. She is a hoot. She's very entertaining, and she's a good mama, but I just recently found her channel, and I have to binge watched hers so those are just a few of the ones that I like when I sit down and want something to watch. I do have longtime favorites that I've just watched that I've watched for years but I just thought I'd share in case you're you know looking for some new ones that you hadn't that you hadn't um, you know heard of already. So guess what I still have not done? Made my bed because as you can see <laughs> this is the favorite place to nap so yeah. So I have not made it yet, but oh well, I guess we're going to go to bed tonight with an unmade bed.
opted for some true fruit instead of the little keto cake. Marion got me some true fruit for Valentine's Day, so I was like, I forgot I had to. But I'm gonna go downstairs real quick, just check on what he's doing down there. I don't know if there's anything to show, but I thought we could check it out before I end this vlog. Today is Tuesday, and um, hopefully real soon, hopefully real soon, we're gonna be, uh, things are gonna be happening. So he's been down there like, you know, working on his side and getting his room ready to move him down. So we'll go see what he's doing. You don't see me. Lord have mercy, what is going on? I'm just trying to soundproof this a little bit. You bought this styrofoam. I, I did buy that. Insulation kit. Yeah. So DIY in insulation kit. What do you want? Lord have mercy, Jackson, you're covered in white. I know. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Have you done anything else back here? Um, just move things around. I've not come down here and worked on any boxes. But he's done good. We still have to figure out what we're gonna do with like this stuff, but he built, I showed you, where is his wood, where's your, oh, his wood storage is right there, the big cart. I showed you last time, it wasn't finished, but that's his wood storage cart, and then he built that. He's got lots of big plans, but um, I still have to go through all of my bins, but we can go ahead and move this stuff out of there. See, I can like walk back here. This is where I need to get my main stuff, so. So yeah, it's coming along. Not much to report down there, but real soon, real soon we'll be, uh, we'll be moving him down. And then after that, like, you know, I'm gonna make his room my pantry room, but I don't know. How soon that's gonna be? I, I, had, I actually have no idea how I'm gonna like set that room up or anything like that. I have no idea. So that's something I definitely have to work on. And then my living room. That's kind of to me before the pantry. So that is coming and moving Marion down, getting his room all set up. So it's exciting. So I thought I would mention this just because I got a comment today and I wonder if some, some of you are curious as well someone said that they always hear someone out of camera range when i'm in the kitchen like banging you hear it well not my dryer but banging like a spoon on a bowl and i said it's actually my dog's eating bella's always in the kitchen when i'm in the kitchen she's always with me and she's usually eating i don't know if it's a nervous thing but you'll hear one of my dogs their little tags hit the bowls when they're eating or drinking so a lot of times when I'm in here talking and doing stuff, it's just them and their tags. So in case you're wondering, in case anybody else is wondering. So anyways, I'm gonna say goodnight, but thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna sit down and have my true fruit. I'm gonna do some, actually, what time is it? 7.30, I think I might watch some YouTube, watch some of my favorite YouTubers. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed because we do have some fun makeovers, like I said, coming up. And lots of homemaking motiv motivation and things like that. And my boo-boo is getting shaved on Thursday. So next Thursday for you, last Thursday for you. Anyway, he's getting shaved in two days and he's gonna look very different. Aren't you, aren't you my big boy? He looks so big before he gets shaved. Anyway, love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.